What's happening, bro chachis? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to bar spin. If you're new to this page, my name is Alfredo Mancuso. I'm a professional BMX rider and I've been riding longer than the drinking age in America. Today's tutorial is how to bar spin the fastest way possible without losing any fingers. Have you guys ever seen a thing? Now, the prerequisites to this trick are essentially that you know how to bunny hop and that you do pick up bar spins. I've done a tutorial on this that you can see here, and there's a whole playlist on my channel of 10,000 other tutorials that you could learn from me and a lot of my other professional BMX rider friends. The bar spin is a staple in BMX riding, but I definitely recommend you have some other tricks up your sleeve just to help you feel more confident. Doing pickup bar spins, doing bar spins just on your back, bar spins in the grass, the more comfortable you get with the actual motion of throwing the handlebars, the easier they get. Bar spins are actually really easy. They're just scary initially because you're letting go of the bike. When you throw the bar spin, you are definitely letting go. Unless you're a little cheater and you bust the whole way around. But even then, there's at least one contact point that's gonna be missing, so it does get a little scary. The other thing I highly, highly recommend is that you have an actual seat and a post. That would be pretty weird if you're riding without a seat, but I'm sure stranger things have happened. What I mean by a seat is a nice, big, fluffy, fat seat that you can actually grip with your knees. One of the biggest secrets to this trick is that you actually pinch. So when you let go of the bars, there is actually something holding onto your bike. Now there are some people like Dylan Stark, Stevie Churchill back in the day, that kind of use their feet to clamp the bottom bracket or this lower triangle of their frame. Personally, I don't like that style, but to each their own, if that helps, you can do that as well. The whole purpose of it is that you're offering stability to the bike when you actually let go. That was a pickup bar spin. Like I said, there's a tutorial here that you can watch that'll help you hone in that skill. Now, enough blabbing, let me get to the demonstration. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bunny hop. I am left foot forward, but I learned bar spins the wrong way. I throw them into my lead foot. That's this motion. But I will say that if you learn them clockwise or with your right hand throwing into your left leg, it will be harder because when you do spinning tricks, you have to do more of a rotation. Also, there's something about the stability of the bike. When I do my normal bar spins, which are actually switch, it feels like I have to throw them a little earlier to get more stability. The proper way is left foot forward, left hand in. So I will be demonstrating both, but overall it's called freestyle BMX. Do whatever you want, whatever feels the best way. Most of the people that do bar spins the very best seem to have learned them the wrong way first and then they fix it and go the opposite way, which then makes you ambidextrous, which means you can go both ways. That's a little weird considering the current climate. Say that five times fast. Just learn it however you feel the most comfortable. And if later on you wanna do a truck driver and you wanna learn it with your left hand, you can. So for the tutorial, I will be doing it with my left hand. I will be hopping with my left foot forward and potentially if I'm gonna do a 180 bar spin, I'm gonna spin to the right, but that's for another tutorial. Back to the basics, we are gonna bunny hop. I like to throw the bars as I'm still going up a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll level it out. When you let go of the bars, the front end might drop a little bit. So to compensate that, you wanna hop with your front end a little higher than the back end. We're gonna hop an actual bunny hop, not this double tire hop. We do a bunny hop as the front end is pre runnered out like one of those Baja trucks. As you're up there, that's when you're gonna throw the bar spin. You're gonna try and let go of the bar before it even gets to 180. You wanna kinda let it go somewhere between 45 and 90 degrees. Once it gets to 180, you're already letting go. It's gonna come around. You're just gonna catch it. That's what your hands are doing. Now on the back end, your legs, what they're gonna be doing, you're gonna wanna pencil out. So your legs are gonna straighten out and they're gonna try and pinch the seat. Depending on how high you can get your seat post, some people don't have very much of a seat post, so just pinch whatever you can, whether it's your knees, your thighs, or your shins. Just get them to kind of have your toes pointing inward, and you're just trying to grab that seat. And then, again, let go. Watch them come around. Very important, hand-eye coordination. As you spin them, you wanna see them coming around. You wanna try and catch them again, not at 360 degrees. You wanna catch them somewhere in the 270 degree area. Somewhere around here, you wanna already grab them and kind of straighten out, get ready for the landing. To this day, I still warm up to the right. And then I'm ready to toss them to the left. Very important. Imagine you're an airplane. You don't want to throw the bar spin when you're plateauing. You want to throw it up on your ascension as you're going up. Definitely not on the descent, because that's when you'll let go. Catastrophic failure. You don't want that. Pop with the front end slightly up. Toss it with your left hand. Watch it come around. Grab it. 
As far as speed goes, you don't want to crawl, but you don't also want to book it. You want to find a nice, comfortable speed. Quick run through. You want to bunny hop as you're ascending. You're going to throw the bars. You want to let go somewhere in the 45 to 90 degree range. Toss the bars, watch them come around. You also want to make sure that your legs, one thing I forgot to mention, very important, you want to be in a BMX stance. That's when your left and your right foot are parallel to the ground. Or if your right foot forward, same thing. Both of your feet have to be parallel. You can't have the cranks at 12 and six. You have to have them at three and nine. Okay, which whichever way you want to make sure your feet are level and then you want to make sure that your knees are straight They're not bent and you're trying to pinch the seat Even if you don't really pinch the seat at least your knees are out of the way and you have clearance again This trick isn't too difficult. It's more about breaking that fear once you've successfully thrown and let go of the bars and you've broken that fear, it gets pretty easy after that, but you gotta stay on it. If I don't ride for an extended period of time, the first bar spin always feels a little scary, and you'll do a couple of, we call them runs, and that's where you bunny hop, but you don't throw the bar spin, and that's fine. A lot of people do that. You'll bunny hop, and then you'll pretend to throw, but that'll at least give you the idea of how fast you have to throw the bar spin before you hit the ground. It shouldn't really take you more than a couple of weeks of solid practicing to really get them dialed in, but if it takes you a few months, or even a year, then just learn at your own progress. Remember, BMX and life in general, it's more about a marathon, not a sprint. It's not who gets to the finish line fastest, it's just achieving your own goal. All right, everyone, hope this was helpful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Alfredo Mancuso. Please like, oh, well, I hope that helps, guys. My name is Alfredo Mancuso. Please, ah, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't try to do too many things at once. Also, I think my brake cable is breaking.